What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got a seller on the phone right now and I'm about to lock up this deal. They're reviewing the contract right now. So this video is gonna be wholesaling real estate live. Purchase agreement for real estate. Yep, purchase agreement for real estate. There you go, you got it open up, good job. So let me just quickly go over this with you. Um, so it says here that this agreement is made today between you and our company for the property address. We're gonna be buying the property in as is condition. So that means we're gonna be buying it exactly how it sits. And any fixtures that are permanent, like trees, for example, they need to stay with the property. We're gonna be buying it for that $95,000 cash. So like I told you, the 95,000 cash. And uh, number one, as you can see, closing costs, attorney fees, title fees, transfer fees, any of the miscellaneous costs to close the transaction are to be paid by the buyer. So we're gonna be covering all the closing costs for you. Then two, any taxes, liens, or mortgage that you owe on the property, you'd be responsible for, and that would come out of the 95, obviously. Again, we're gonna be buying in as, in as is condition. Um, sometimes we do need to walk through the property once or twice, so it says seller to provide buyer with permission to walk through the property. Um, we're gonna be ordering that title report and survey promptly. Um, defects, seller warrants that there's no defects. Um, and no like hazardous substances with the property. So there's no like dangerous chemicals at the property. And then risk of loss. If somehow the property is damaged to prior to transfer, we can still buy it. And then no judgments. Seller warrants that there's no judgments threatening the equity in the property and that you're not pending bankruptcy. And then process. It tells you a little bit about how we got to our offer. Buyer arrived at the offer price by carefully evaluating current market values, making estimations on expenses and projections on profits. So it's telling you how we got to our offer and then acceptance, this will become binding when signed by both of us. And I put the close for the end of January. Um, if your daughter's able to move out sooner, um, we can move that date up and we'll just stay in touch and work, work uh, with that flexible date. But I just put uh, January 31st. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Simple two page as is purchase agreement. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, explain to me what's gonna happen. Yeah, so the process looks like this. Once you and me go ahead and we sign this offer, I'm gonna go ahead and send this offer over to our title company. We either use Capital Title of Texas or we use um, Key Title of Texas, it just depends. Um, whichever ones uh, has less files from us we give them the file and what they're gonna do is they're gonna order that title search so they're gonna order a title search with the county to make sure there's you know no liens or anything on the property so that way the property you know title right? yep so what they're gonna do is they're gonna reach out to you as well and they're gonna get you to fill out some paperwork and they're gonna collect all this information from you so they're gonna collect the information from you about that mortgage company and then what they're going to do is they're going to contact the mortgage company and they're going to get a payoff statement from that mortgage company. So they're going to get that title search. They're going to get the mortgage company payoff. They're going to get all this together. And then what they're going to do is they're going to prepare all the documents. And then we pretty much just wait till the close of escrow day. So on J January 31st, or if we move it up sooner, whatever date we choose to close on, they're going to have you sign all the closing docs. I'm going to sign all the closing docs. I'm going to wire in the money. And around noon, it will record with the county. And then they'll send you a wire or a check for your payment. So it's the same exact process as any other real estate transaction. The only difference is, is, is that we're paying cash and buying it in as is condition. Other than that, everything is exactly the same as any other real estate transaction. Okay, and when, when, do I get, when do I get paid or what? Yeah, you get paid on that close date. So whenever your daughter moves out on that day, we can sign the closing docs and finalize the transaction, and that's when you'll get paid. You'll get paid that same day. The title company will send you a wire, or they can give you a check. You get to choose. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, well, that closing date, we can make it like the 15th. Okay. Um, I can go ahead and resend it to you with it saying the 15th. You want me to do that? Yeah. Okay, and perfect. Then, and then let me talk to my daughter and then I'll call you, I'll call you back and we'll, we'll sign it. Okay, today? I'll hear back from you today? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. All right, well, I'm going to go and uh, resend this to your email with the date as the 15th. 
and great. so you'll see a new email come through same thing as before and then uh, yeah just call me back tomorrow and we'll make it happen all right all right Thank thanks brother much. yep you have a good rest of your day all right bye bye I'm resending that contract to him. Somebody's here. It was a water delivery, but there we go. So this seller I've been talking to for a few months, he he's a hard bargain, right? He drives a hard bargain because I was trying to lock up this deal at 80, 85, 90. He wouldn't budge. He said 95, not a penny less. And uh, yeah, we've been going back and forth. Um, yeah, we've been going back and forth uh, for a while, and I told him I would do the 95, and he's actually been following up with me. I've been saying I'm gonna call him every week, and I have been, but he's been calling me more than that. And he's just said, hey, I'm only working with you, nobody else. And so now he's finally got his plans figured out with his daughter moving out of the house and all that, and he's ready to go. So he calls me this morning, he's like, can you send me the offer? And there we go, you just saw me going over the offer with him. Unfortunately though, he's dragging his feet still a little bit, wants to talk to his daughter, and then sign it tomorrow. So hopefully we get that contract signed tomorrow. Wish I could have got that signed on this video, but there we go. So this video, we jumped in right in live, jumped right into the call, but guys, in this video, I'm gonna be wholesaling real estate live. So I'm gonna be calling motivated sellers and calling cash buyers and really just showing you the day-to-day -day of me talking to sellers and buyers and actually wholesaling real estate live. So that being said, this video is gonna be value packed so make sure you stick around for the whole video. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. Also, every single thing that I use in my wholesaling real estate business and everything that I'm gonna be doing and using on my computer screens is available at jacobblank.com. And there's links in the description down below for every single tool that I use in my business. So make sure to check that out. But with that being said, let's get right back to it. Let me call this other realtor back they were trying to get an offer for their client on this property oh he's calling back hey you there yes hey yeah i just resent it to you too with that with the date updated oh, okay thank you yeah of course oh he's gone okay let's call this seller back Hey, calling you back. Um, so yeah, you said your clients, you know, the, the best they would do is 635. Just a quick look at it. I don't think there's any way that I could do more than like six. Um, and when you tell me about your offers, is it a cash offer? Yeah, a cash offer and we cover the closing costs. Why did her phone die? What the hell? Calling her back. Hey, sorry about that. You're good. Yeah, it's cash. We cover all closing costs. Um, how many days is the close? 21 days. 21 days? And do you do an inspection, a due diligence period? We do have a due diligence period, yeah. And is it something where you have a clause on the contract allowing yourself to reassign the contract as well? We are able to reassign the contract, but we, do, we we buy them and hold them. So we don't really, not, it's unlikely we go and just like sell it to somebody else. Okay. So um, in the event that they were willing to consider 600, um, how long would it take for them to get a written offer? Right away, like I could send one pretty instantly. Um, sometimes what he tells me and what he's willing to do when he has something in hand is a little 
art is two different things. So um, okay. let me give them a call and, uh, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, that sounds good. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yep, bye. This buyer said that we're trying to sell this vacant lot right now for 75 and he said not interested. I was trying to, he offered 65. I was trying to get 75. I said, okay, fine. He said, this is not like my favorite neighborhood. He's buying another lot from us, maybe like five miles away, but this one's not his most ideal location to develop houses in. So he's like, you know, I, I'm not super motivated to buy this lot from you. I'll do 65. I'm like, okay, if you can do 70, we'll get it done. We won't market the deal to anybody else. You can have it. Um, but he's saying there's a 75 active. Um, so yeah, that sucks. Uh, but let me see if he'll still do the 65 because that's an easy 15 grand that we would make. So quick, easy 15. But all right, let's call this seller. This seller came through my Google pay-per-click website as well. Um, looking for an offer for their property in Georgia. And they called back about an hour ago, but I wasn't able to take it. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm calling you back to give you that offer for your property. Yeah. Awesome. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. Good. So yeah, I got your information through our website a few hours ago. Uh, I just wanted to call, ask you a few more questions about the property and then make you the offer. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. Sweet. Um, so looks like you guys bought it in September of 2021. Is that right? That is correct. Yep. Okay. So I see the photos of it from when you bought it. Is everything pretty much the same as then or have you done some stuff to it? Well, what, I mean, what, from when we bought it, what, what does Tony look like? Yeah, when you bought it, it just looks like wood floors. It looks like one of the showers is tiled pretty nice. Um, there's a fireplace. Uh, there's some blue cabinetry and, and some build outs. Uh, that, yeah, so that's what we did. So that's that's the remodeling work that we did to it. Okay. Um, so any pictures that are like the walls are like a yellowish cream color, that's what it was before we got okay. it. So did you redo we every did bathroom? Yes, we redid every room in this house. <laughs> okay. What type of countertops are in the kitchen? Are they laminate or are they quartz or granite or they're quartz. Okay, and white cabinets? No, they're not white. They are. Cool. We, uh, they're like a gray color with brass handles. Okay, cool. How much are you guys looking to get for the house? I mean, four twenty-five is what we're looking at. Okay. What's the reason you guys are looking to sell? Uh, we are relocating to the Netherlands. Oh, nice. You got family out there? Or? Uh, no, it's just because we want to. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm just taking a look at a few comparables real quick. Hmm. And it is about, it's 3,270 square feet, right? 3,274, not including the garage. Yeah. Roof is uh, four years old. AC units are, I think, like four and six years old. Um, recently serviced. Um, AC water heaters ten years old. AC. How old's the hot water heater? Uh, it's less than ten years old. I think it's six years old. Okay. What about the roof? Four years old. 
Okay, cool. And our attic is sealed as well. How soon are you guys looking to sell? Uh, by the end of the month. And move and everything? Okay. You already got your spot figured out in the Netherlands? Uh, yeah, we have an apartment um, that we've got arranged over there. We'd probably be closer to the 394 area. Mm. Yeah, that wouldn't be something that we'd be able to do. What's the best you think you could do? I mean, 425 is our best. I mean, okay. I think I could get you 425, but we would have to use some of our retail buyers that are in our pocket to get you that. We have people that are waiting for a property just like this to buy from us. Um, so we could probably get you the 425 by the end of the month if you wanted to work with us in that capacity. Um, but as far as a cash offer from us, we'd have to be closer to 400. But we could market your property to our buyers that we have and, and I think fairly easily get you that 425, still have all those closing costs covered for you, still get it bought from you in as is condition. Would that be something you're interested in? Um, I would need to discuss that um, this evening. So uh, can I get back to you tomorrow with that? Yeah, for sure. It's a program. So okay. what we do is we, we buy properties and fix them up and sell them. And so, you know, your property is super nice, right? So it's kind of a little bit of a different situation. And so this is a program we started offering where if a property is, you know, a newer property and it's had a remodel done to it already, we just help the seller get what they're looking for um, from buyers that we have sitting on the sidelines waiting. And uh, instead of like working with a realtor, we actually get paid our fee from the buyer for finding them the house. So what we make doesn't even come out of your pocket too. And it's still as is, still cash and quick, easy close. So it's pretty good, pretty good thing we have going on. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, when would you be able to talk to your wife about that? Okay. Um, let me just notate that down. And okay, cool. So uh, yeah, let me let me give you my cell phone number so you can make sure to reach me back. Are you able to write that down real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I'll put my notes. All right, sweet. So my cell number is four eight zero. And okay. again, my Got name's it. Jacob with iBuyAmerica.com. Okay, thanks, Jacob. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You have a great night. Thanks, you too. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and send the offer to his email, too, for that 425. This one's a solid novation, novation deal where we help him sell it. Just sent the contract. By the way, guys, I'm using my wholesale podio, wholesale CRM.com, wholesale podio.com CRM in order to send the contract at the click of a button like that.
Okay. Let's see what else we're gonna call. I gotta go grab some lunch here in a bit. What else we got? Please leave your message for 615785187. Let's call it back. <laughs> double dial. Guys, when you're trying to reach sellers, always want to double dial. Hello? Please leave your message for 6. Alright, let's switch over to calling some buyers actually. So I got to sell this deal in Louisville. from that buyer let's call this buyer hey hello hey uh, yeah I'm calling you about our property we have for sale on Howard Street in Louisville uh, I think you were interested in uh, uh, that? Oh, I believe so. Let me see. Um, oh, wow. You know, let me see. Let me try to see if I could... Are you still going to our property in New York on Pleasant on November 6th? Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Me and my team, we will be there. We're excited about that one. Okay. Here, I just retexted like you the details on it. Um, so awesome. you, if you need to recheck it out and call me back, let me. That works. Awesome. Yeah, I'll do that right now. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yep, bye. Oh. All right, let's keep calling. This is a buyer that offered forty thousand on this property. We have it under contract at fifty, though, so we need to get a higher offer than that. Oh. 
hey, I'm reaching out regarding our property on Howard Street in Louisville. Um, you made us an offer for 40000 on it. No, I didn't. I guess that's the wrong number. You don't buy you don't buy property? I do, but I don't I I'm in I'm in uh Gillenburg County, Kentucky. I'm not even nowhere up in there. Oh. But I don't So you wouldn't be interested in a property in Louisville? No, I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Alright, you have a good day. You too. <clears throat> Weird. I don't know what happened with that. All right. There's this other buyer. Offered 30K. Let's call him up. You've reached a number that has been Numbers not working. No. Here's another number for this guy. Let's see if he answers. I don't know what's up with that. Let's call this other guy. <laughs> Nobody, we're not getting many buyers on this damn property, man. Louisville, a little bit tough to sell stuff. Sometimes I feel like it's got to be priced right. I'm going to lower the price, resend it out. Please leave your message for three, one. Double dial that buyer. Right, resend it out. That guy's not interested in the land, bro. Oh, he said he's not interested no more? Nah, he said there's one active for 75, and I said, okay, so you still at 65? And he's like, nah, I don't want it. So. Damn, fucker. We'll have to find somebody else. Yeah. Or list it. But wasn't that one a FISBA? Yeah, he just took it off. What's up? Oh, I was just gonna follow. All right, this next one. This next one's actually a novation. And uh, not getting any calls. It's, like, it's weird. I'm going to lower the price. Got any messages or offers on this deal? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now let's pull it up over here. See what off market interest we have. I'm gonna have my assistant recall these people. On the Rock Creek Street property, can you recall these people that are green over here? And and see if they're interested. Thanks. Delegate, have people do tasks for you. Let's go ahead and uh, lower the price. I'm gonna resend this one out. We use Investor Lift, guys, to market our deals. There's a link down below in the description for Investor Lift. 
And by the way, guys, those motivated sellers that I was talking to earlier, um, they came from iSpeed to Lead. So iSpeed to Lead, um, they run most of my marketing when it comes to digital online ads. So there's gonna be a link in the description down below for iSpeed to Lead. They're a really good platform for running your marketing or you can buy motivated seller leads from them individually. So make sure to check out that link. There's a discount link down below for iSpeed to Lead. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead lower this price go so yeah guys what we like to do when we when we're marketing a deal to sell it is we first start uh, with the deal we send it out once and then what we'll do is we'll do three consecutive price drops following in a sequence of a week after or like five days after and then if that price drop doesn't get us results then three days after we'll do another price drop and then three to four days after that we'll do another price drop so that's kind of like our sequence when it comes to um, reducing the price on a property and uh, trying to get interest on a property if there is no interest and guys, it's very important when it comes to selling wholesale deals to make sure you have an ironed out process like that. That's how you're going to have success selling these deals because you have this consecutive, you know, like domino effect of actions that take place step by step by step when it comes to marketing the deal. So that way you're consistently progressing towards getting it done, getting it sold. Um, so right here, like this Canton property, this Canton Street in uh, Michigan, like we're not getting many hits at all. So it's time to reduce the price again. So I'm gonna just go ahead and reduce the price. And I'm also gonna have my team member recall these people. Can you recall all the hot buyers right here on this Brook Street property and um, these two people that are green, can you recall them? And let's try to get some interest on Brook Street. Sending out a task to my team member. And we're gonna resend out this deal. We have a buyer asking if our property that we're trying to sell has utilities, this vacant lot. So let me go check on that. All right, now we're on to the last property that I'm marketing right now, which is in Decatur, Illinois. And I'm gonna just call all these buyers that were interested.
dials could not be reached. Here's a crazy situation. Here's my here's my student calling me. We have this deal that we're closing that I helped him find a buyer for. And by the way, guys, I can help you find buyers for your deals if you just go to jacobblank.com slash dispo, submit your deals to me, and you can use my buyers list. I'll help you find a buyer. I helped him find a buyer. The deal's about to close. A drunk driver crashed into the property. Yo, Andrew. Hey, Jacob. How you Sorry, doing, bro? Your no, you're good. Um, so, I, I want to know so I can figure out what's the best thing to do. Did your buyer know about the incident? Nah, I just tried to call him and get a hold of him. He didn't answer. So I'll try again tomorrow, too, because I'm about to leave for the day. But yeah. I spoke to Tony, and yeah, the buyer needs to get informed of this. Um, but then what I hear is that right now we're just assessing the damage. And then we'll figure out where to go from there, right? Yeah, right, exactly. I just want to know what the buyer thinks so I can tell the seller, hey, we need to be this number. Yeah, so yeah. If, yeah, and then that buy. way we can just get it done right now. Forget waiting on insurance and all that. Let's just reduce price yeah, both ways and get the deal done. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so if you could let him know, uh, get that response from him. I had the key ready at the Carl Wright's office. He has the key. The property's vacant, so I just need him to slide by. So say whatever he needs off and I'll tell the seller to take it off and then we'll do it that way. Okay. Um do you have a photo of her car in the like hitting the house? No, it was it was during the night like it, it, everybody was uh police locked it down. The only you know the the town is like a he doesn't give a fuck. So he didn't take a picture. Um only pictures prior oh, shit. What was the event? We saw the wheels on the floor, on the ground and shit like that, so. Damn, text me it, the photo. Yeah, let me send it to you again. But uh, yeah, that's crazy, bro. That, that, this lady, was she drunk? No, it was some guy, he was drunk. Oh. He just bed and then crashed right into it. He was drunk or no? Yeah, drunk driving, he got a DUI. During the day or the night? No, it was during night. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Car, bro. It's crazy. Don't drink and drive. All right, text me that. I'll try to call the buyer again before I leave the office, and I'll let you know. Cool. Sounds great, bro. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Let's see. You can see the tire marks. And then the car hit the house right there. Not too bad a damage, but there could be, like, some foundation damage. So just got to check on that. Okay, there was a buyer calling back. I missed the call. Let's see. Oh, here, it's the actual, it's the buyer for this deal, the one I need to call anyways. Hey, so Gordon Street, um, crazy thing happened. A drunk driver hit the house um, like last week. There really isn't much damage at all. I'll send you the photos. The seller's getting the damage assessed now to make sure it's nothing structural. Um, so yeah, we have to figure out what we're gonna do, but I guess first it's assess the damage and then go from there. So you could swing by and take a look yourself as well if you want. Okay, so we're not grabbing something on the system? Uh, we might, we still can. Uh, it just depends uh, if we gotta just figure out what you think about the damage, what the damage actually is, and then go from there, you know what I mean? Okay, cool, yeah, uh, yeah. 
It's um, I'm actually in Texas for the weekend, so I'm going to be able to pass by the house. Um, if we get an assessment or anything, and uh, I can take this from the owner, it would be nice, too. Okay. All right, I'm going to text you the photos now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll try to get an assessment, and then I'll be in touch tomorrow. Okay, I'll wait on you, Jake. Thank you, brother. Yep, bye. Hey, I just spoke to the buyer. He was actually beeping through while on the phone with you. Isn't that crazy? He was what? He was the one. I had somebody calling me while I was on the phone with you, beeping through. It was uh. It was him. It was him calling. What a oh, coincidence. So there's there's two photos of the inside of the house too. Oh, it made yeah. that crack happen. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I I'm gonna just. Should I just send him the photo of the outside or not? Nah? I don't know, because isn't he going to look anyways? He's in Texas. So he's saying he can't even go look. He wants an assessment done. Though. What is that? He wants somebody to go out there and say what had happened. And Tony, the closing attorney, told me the seller's having somebody. Yeah, that's what they want to do. Yeah, can they go get a report ASAP? Of something like somebody, like a foundation guy, maybe just to get a say what if there's an issue or something, or just a contractor write it up or something. Is there some some way we can get something? And then this guy, he'll still close on the sixth. Okay, could the seller get a foundation or a contractor? Maybe just a contractor. Get somebody to say something, um, but okay. then, but. Hold on that. Let me see what he says to the photo first, actually. Okay. Because if he's like, oh, that's fine, then we can just reduce with the seller and not do anything with him. Right. You don't have a... Uh, I fuck with that. Yeah. Just not sure, though. Because maybe you want to send a... Actually, you know what? Don't hold on that. Don't hold on I that. Can, oh, I can, don't... I can get some... You send some. Don't have the seller send somebody out. Go get a contractor to go out there and give you a bid. Yeah, I know somebody will go there for me. Yeah, but do that. Get that, and then we'll get that to the buyer, and then go from there. Should I? I mean, I could probably tell them. Should I have a higher amount or lower amount or anything? Say that again. Should I tell the contractor? Nah, a nor a real um, amount. Real amount. Real amount. Yeah. Okay. Well, you pro yeah, real amount, uh, at least for the buyer. We want the buyer to know what's really going on. Seller, okay. seller, due to the headache, it could could be slightly inflated, but we'll see. Okay, we'll just go from there, bro. Let me know. All right, I will. Appreciate okay. you. Bye. Yep. Okay, cool. So sent that to the buyer, the photo of the damage showed you guys that doesn't really look that bad so we'll see all right I'm gonna call this buyer that was interested in the land they were asking whether the property has utilities and it does yeah he's good yeah he sent earnest money in and everything yeah On the 10th, I think, is what it was set. Hello? Hey, hey you, you were talking to one of my other, or you sent a message um, on our property on 13th place? A lot? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were wondering if it has utilities. It does. It has access to, yeah. to city power and water, uh, water and sewer. Okay. What I'm doing is reaching out to my buyer right now just to see if uh, if he's interested. Okay. Once I get a response, um, I can let you, I'll let you know. Okay, that sounds good. Thanks so much. I appreciate you reaching out. Yep. Bye.
Okay. Let's see. This property here, we have it at 30K, this one in Decatur. Not getting that many hits. I'm going to lower the price. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, again, every single resource and every single tool that I use for my wholesaling business is available at jacobblank.com or there's links in the description down below for that. So make sure to check that out. Other than that, this was me wholesaling live today. Um, started out the video directly on the phone with a seller going over a contract trying to lock up a deal. We spoke to a couple other motivated sellers. I pitched an ovation and sent the paperwork to them to try to help them sell their property. Um, and then we switched over to calling cash buyers. You saw me talk to a few different cash buyers and work through a few different situations on a few of our deals. So there we go. Super solid video of me wholesaling live. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. I'm gonna go grab some lunch now. And then I'm going to come back to the office and get back to it because I stay grinding when it comes to wholesaling real estate, man. And I expect you to be doing the same. Go out there, crush it, have massive success, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.